As a human design projector myself, I know how difficult it can often feel living in a world full of sacral beings. 70% of this world are incredible generators and manifesting generators that have this defined sacral center. And that means that the rest of us do not have that defined sacral center. It doesn't mean that we don't have energy, but it just means that we use our energy in a different way. It doesn't come from that sustainable resource, the sacral center. So therefore, we need to bring in our energies in different ways, which means that also it's really important for us to be able to learn how to efficiently and effectively manage that energy and for those of us who are non-sacral beings so for projectors and manifestors and reflectors we are deeply conditioned to work hard look at the narrative in this world you need to work hard and go out there and hustle and make things happen and work 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 and it's like a badge of honor my partner, who is an amazing generator, was just saying this the other day. He was speaking about someone and he was like really speaking with pride in his voice, talking about someone who had worked really hard to create success. And I understand what he was saying, but I also understand as a projector that you do not have to work hard to create success. In fact, projectors, manifestors, reflectors. If we work hard, if we work, work, work and hustle, we are not going to create success. It's not gonna be a good outcome for us. We're gonna make ourselves ill. We're gonna burn ourselves out. So I am here to change the narrative along with, I know, so many of my colleagues, human design colleagues in this world. I am here to change the narrative that you have to work hard to create success. And I'm also here to change the narrative that rest and recuperation is lazy because it definitely isn't. In fact, we need to be able to rest and sustain ourselves to go out into the world and do the work that we need to do and play the part that we are here to play in this world. So let's look at the three non-sacral human design types. I just wanna share a little bit with you in regards to if you have a non-sacral uh, human design type or if you are a non-sacral human design type, how rest really helps you to be able to um, create your like do your live your purpose right go out and and be able to conserve your energy and do the things that you're meant to be doing in this world so first of all let's look at projectors projectors that's my human design type i am a four six projector i'm actually an energy projector so i do bring in um energy uh from some of my motor set psych um, centers but i am a non-sacral being now projectors, we are here to guide others and we're also here to help others manage their energy. So first of all, if we're gonna be helping others manage their energy, it's really important that we manage our energy, right? And there, I don't think there's anything worse in this world apart from an angry manifester <laughs> than a bitter projector because when we are not resting, when we are not prioritizing our rest, when we're not taking those sustained periods of rest, then we can be really bitter because we're just like completely spent and burnt out and we're not able to step into our mission and that is to be able to guide and empower others. So in order for us to step into that higher vibrational frequency of success, and help others, guide others to be successful by helping others manage their energy. If we're not vibrating at that higher level, then it's going to be really difficult for us to, you know, go out and do our things in the world. Okay, so I think we've established that fact. Projectors, 
we need to rest and we need to build it into our schedule uh, because the conditioning runs deep and it's very easy to step into that hustle mentality. Believe you me, I've really been um, pushing against that um, for the last few days. So that's projectors, manifestors. Well, you're here to, you're a trailblazer, right? You're here to light up flat fires. You're here to um, ignite things. And I do believe that with manifestors, it can sometimes be a really difficult job to accept that you need that rest. I speak to many manifestors who go, oh no, I can go, 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 go all day long. I don't have a problem with it. And then I look at them and they are completely burnt out and knackered. So manifestors, you are here to light the fires. You're here to start the fires. You're not here to manage the projects. You get the ball rolling and then you go off and you do your next thing. But you take those sustained periods of rest throughout. Now, it might look very different to a projector rest, but it is a rest non, nonetheless. And you are not going to be able to go out and do the things that you do. You're not going to be able to go out and trailblaze when you're depleted and burnt out. And you cannot sustain that amount of energy. Do you want, do you realise how much energy it takes to light a fire? Like, think of a combustion engine. I'm not an engineer, but I know how that works, right? To be able to start a car, the energy that it takes to start a car manifestors you're starting cars all over the place but you're not driving it you're not driving it to the final destination you're starting the car you're giving it to a driver and then the driver goes and 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 drives the car somewhere right so you cannot sustain that you're a starter you are not a finisher and please it's really important for you to know that and that's why it's really important for you to delegate to your team okay and then finally reflectors well you're here to act as a mirror, really, for our health and our well-being. So in order for you to be able to act as a mirror, it's important for you to go out and for you to experience what it feels like to rest and recuperate and recover so that you can then reflect that back on us. So again, you do not have sacral energy and even though it might feel at times that you can just go and do all the things, uh, yes, no, you can go and do all the things. <laughs> no one's stopping you. Like go out and do all the things and work hard. Work all day long and go and have a few hours sleep and then work again and a few hours sleep and then come back to me in a few weeks time and let me know how you feel. Because I think that probably you'd be feeling pretty burnt out. So again, this is not, I think it's really important to state here that human design does not put us in a box. What human design does is it shows us how we can use our energy effectively. And then we get to go out and experiment with that. I'm not very good at being told what to do. That's why I run my own business. Um, the way that I really get things is that I go out and, and, and experiment, okay? And when things start to show up quite magically and easily for me, when I am aligned to my human design, I'm like, ah, okay, yes, that works, that works. And, you know, as I said before, I need to keep reminding myself all of the time just to use myself as an example. As a projector yesterday, I worked all day long. And this is very unusual for me to do this these days. But I felt like I did. I haven't had enough time to do all the things that I want to do. So I went straight into my deep conditioning. And I worked all day long. I took a break about 12 o'clock. I had lunch. I sat it at my table in front of my laptop and continued to work as I was eating. And I ate very, very quickly. And then my partner came back home about 6 p.m., and I was bitter. I was a bitter projector. And I know, looking back on why that was, because I hadn't rested throughout the day. I hadn't given myself, I hadn't even sat down and taken a breath. And really, I really want to encourage you to start to experiment with this. 
if you are living in your deep conditioning and as a, as a non-sacral being and you are hustling and working hard just try and experiment just with a you know a few times just see how it goes try and experiment resting just taking yourself away from everything and going and resting doesn't mean that you have to sleep you can go and sit and meditate or you can lie down like sometimes I lie down I don't sleep I just rest and it really really helps so please go uh, go away and experiment uh, nobody needs to be burnt out these days in this world especially when human design is around and human design is showing us the way but you know like I always say don't believe a word that I say Right, just go away and experiment with it and if you want to dive deeper into this there's many ways that you can come and work with me um, you, you can go onto my website you can download your human design um, visibility guide which is a 40 page guide all about your human design it's not just talking about your strategy and your type it talks about everything and what's really important in there as well is your environments because I believe that environments are really important for us in human design and it's something that's often overlooked and um, you can just search in here. I've done loads of videos about human design environments. So you can find out about that in the book um, or you can come and book a, a human design reading with me. It's up to you. Um, let's talk about environments. There's a few things that I just wanted to share with you that will really help you to be able to support you um, when you're taking those energy breaks, energy rest. The first thing is to create a restful environment. So, you know, schedule in those breaks. Um, set alarms on your clock um, and this is something that I normally do I normally set an alarm you know every hour just to, even if it's just to take a breath and then I will schedule in my working day so that I've got some time in the afternoon to rest I'm I, I really do need to live in Spain because I love a siesta and I love how the Spanish um uh, do this and this is why I, I, you know when I used to live in Spain I loved it so much because you you know you work in the morning and you go out for lunch and then you have a little siesta in the afternoon and that's perfect for me and then that means that I'm ready to go um, a little bit later on in, in the afternoon and evening especially because a lot of my clients are based in the States so I do tend to work into the evening it's not sustainable if I work all day so create that um, um, environment where you can schedule in that rest and also the the actual physical environment as well so um, you know create a space for you in the house where you can go away and you're not disturbed and you can go and rest in peace I know I know I know the direct um, uh, what's the word, um, the teachings um, from human design and Ra Uruhu is about um, the, you know, non-sacral types need to sleep alone. And I get it and I understand it. And yeah, there's no doubt that that will help. Um, for me personally, I like to sleep with my partner. I don't like, I'm not in a relationship to sleep on my own end of. Um, I'm with him because I like to sleep in the bed with him. Um, however, uh, I like to go to bed before him because he's a generator and read a book and I will normally be asleep um, by the time he comes to bed um, or I like to go and take those rests on my own in the afternoon if I am going to go and have a nap in the afternoon. So, you know, like I said before, this is an experiment. It's not, you don't have to do it, just experiment with it and see what shows up for you um set boundaries um be be very very clear about what you uh what what you need to be able to take those breaks and rest periods so get very very good at saying no sorry i can't do that i'm not available at that time um this is what i need be very very clear about it and this is what i love about human design because i always say that human design gives us language to maybe be able to communicate things that maybe before we couldn't give language to like for example um many of my i teach my projector clients um well all of my non-sacral clients actually but in particular projectors i teach my projector clients to say i'm projector tired to their partners or their friends and then they know what that means their family their 
friends, whoever, their partners know what that means and that they know to give them space and to back off. So maybe that's sort of language that you want to be using, like I'm manifesto tired or I'm reflector tired, I'm projector tired, and explain to those around you what that means. And, you know, we need to stop people, we need to stop the shame around needing rest. Because I used to carry a lot of shame around it. And many of my non-sacred clients carry shame around it. And that needs to stop. Because it doesn't mean that we're not strong. And it doesn't mean that we're not resilient. And it doesn't mean that we're not incredible leaders. It just means that we need, like, periods of rest. Everyone needs rest. Right? Do, what? Am I, am I, like, not strong because I need to go to sleep at night? No. Everyone needs to sleep at night. So what's the difference between going and sleeping for eight hours at night, which is the recommended sleep time, or, you know, versus going and having half an hour kip or an hour's nap in the afternoon? It's no different as far as I'm concerned. It's just these weird and wonderful, like, societal conditioning that we have, right? That that's right, that's wrong, that's good, that's bad. Well, there's no right and wrong, there's no good or bad and it's for you to go and experiment and see what shows up for you with that. Listen to your body. Your body is going to tell you. I was completely ignoring my body yesterday. Completely ignoring my body. Complete system override. Listen to your body. Um, many um, clients tell me that the, the certain things that come up the certain feelings that they feel when they're overtired or they need a rest. Maybe not just the obvious. I feel really sick. If I'm overtired, I feel sick and I get really <sighs> crabby. Like my, I cannot control my solar plexus. I have a defined solar plexus. I'm an emotional projector. And when I'm tired, I cannot control it. I snap at every single thing. It's because I'm tired. So how effective is that? It's not effective. It just I just piss people off. So when I'm rested, I am not using my emotions to use make decisions. I'm not using my emotions to kind of dictate the surroundings, right? I know that when I start getting crabby, I need to sleep. And my partner always says that as well. Like, you're getting crabby. You need to go get some sleep. I'm like, yeah, you're right. Um, and then I, I mentioned it at the beginning, but just schedule in those um, that regular downtime. Block it off in your calendar. Make an appointment with yourself to rest, to move away from your desk, and then honour it. You're not going to stand up a client if you tell a client... That, you know that you're going to have a zoom call with them a coaching session with them at 11 a.m you're not going to stand them up right unless you're really ill you're not going to stand them up so the same for yourself don't stand yourself yourself up set that time aside so that you can rest and recuperate um as always reach out if you've got any questions hello at abigailrebecca.com go onto my website abigailrebecca.com for more resources on how to support you and um, questions below I'm always popping on here and uh, it will flag it to me so if you've got any questions or comments or aha put them below thank you for watching I'll see you soon